Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. My name is Alan Gamble, and I am the mayor of Parkland County. I'm pleased to welcome you here on behalf of the Edmonton Metropolitan Region, Edmonton Global, Edmonton International Airport, the Government of Canada, and the larger partnership that is Port Alberta. I would like to start by welcoming everyone here today. In a moment, we will hear from some of our distinguished guests, including MLA Cyril Turton, who represents the Spruce Grove Stony Plain constituency here in Alberta. Minister Randy Boisano will also be bringing remarks for this exciting announcement via a pre recorded video that we will watch in just a moment. I would also like to extend a special welcome to Mayor Jeff Acker, our friend and neighbor representing the city of Spruce Grove. And I would like to recognize our team from Parkland County who is here today, including our Division I Councillor, Ms. Kuchar Johnson, our Division II Councillor and current Deputy Mayor, Ms. Christina Kowalski, our Division IV Councillor, Natalie Burney, our Division VI Councillor, Mr. Alan Hooslute, and from our administration team, our CAO, Ms. Laura Swain, and from our Economic Depart Diversification Department, Mr. Alan Fernandez. And to the team here at Steel, thank you for hosting us at your facility this afternoon. Today, we are announcing the relaunch of Port Alberta, an important regional asset built upon strong partnerships that will help our regional businesses be more competitive and to grow internationally. The Edmonton region has a lot of advantages with critical linkages to global supply chain. Through air, rail, road, and through our connections to both the port of Vancouver and the port of Prince Rupert, companies here are well connected to the global marketplace. For companies involved in the business of importing or exporting, this is a great place to be located. We're seeing this through the investment by international companies who are locating their distribution centers here. When we look at steel, where we are today, and the Amazon's massive robotics fulfillment center just down the road, we are starting to see a cluster of distribution centers that are taking advantage of the connectivity that exists here. The relaunch of Port Alberta is only going to make our location more attractive to do business in. And now I'd like to point your attention to the screen to hear remarks from Minister Randy Boisenau for this important announcement. Hello everyone, bonjour, Tansi. Randy Boisenau here, MP for Edmonton Centre, Minister of Tourism and Associate Minister of Finance. I wish I could be with you in person to congratulate all of you on the relaunch of Port Alberta. As you can tell, I'm in Ottawa, a busy week ahead of us, much has taken place already, but I wanna thank Port Alberta and all the partners for really leaning in on Edmonton's geopolitical positioning and the fact that our northernmost location makes us an ideal inland hub for commerce, for trade, for shipping, and to address the supply chain concerns that we're having across the country. I'm also delighted to know that Port Alberta will be working with us to make sure that businesses are able to access the programs and supports in place through the federal government, primarily through Prairies Can. As your Alberta voice in government, I will work every day to make sure that Alberta has its place here in Ottawa, but also that our businesses and our communities and the organizations that we count on continue to thrive. Thank you to Edmonton Global, to the Edmonton International Airport, to all orders of government for making this program, this relaunch, such a success. Have a great relaunch. I can't wait to see you all in person. Thank you. Merci. Hi, hi. Thank you, Minister Boisenau. And I would now like to call and invite MLA and my good friend, Mr. Cyril Turton, to come to stage to bring some remarks from the province. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Mayor Gamble, for the kind introduction. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge that we are gathered here today on the tra traditional territory of Treaty 6 and also acknowledge the Métis people of Alberta who have a deep connection with this land. 
I'm happy to join you here today to provide remarks on behalf of Jobs, Economy and Innovation Minister Doug Schweitzer, who sends his regrets that he can't be here today. This is an exciting day as we mark the relaunch for Port Alberta. As a local MLA in the Edmonton metropolitan area, I know that there's a lot of opportunity here and Port Alberta will help realize those opportunities. It is partnerships like this one being announced today that will truly help move this region forward and Port Alberta has that with Alberta's government. Alberta's government is pleased to support industry growth, expand trade and investment and improve market access for businesses in the Edmonton region. That's why we introduced a job creation tax cut and why we are so focused on cutting unnecessary red tape. We are constantly working to ensure that Alberta is, a com is the most competitive place to do business and our efforts are reaping rewards. We are seeing record levels of investment across all sectors right across the province and Port Alberta plays an important role in seeing further investment. There is significant potential for growth here. The region has so much to offer businesses looking to set up and expand operations. With access to major international airports, rail, pipelines, and an efficient highway network, this region is well positioned to serve as a regional hub for manufacturing, cargo, and logistics. Just last year, we saw record manufacturing sales and international exports with major gains in petrochemicals, minerals, equipment, and parts. Port Alberta will help move goods uh, more seamlessly throughout this region, which will only further help Al Alberta's economy continue to recover and grow. Alberta is moving before economic recovery and growth. This plan is clearly working. Consumer and economic confidence is increasing, and investor interest in our province is growing. Private sector investment is recovering this year, and employment has returned to pre-pandemic levels. We know, however, that there's still much work to be done. And that's why just last month, Minister Schweitzer formed the Edmonton Metro Regional Economic Recovery Working Group with representatives from numerous sectors. I am proud to chair this group, along with Vice Chairs Malcolm Brew, CEO of Edmonton Global, who is one of our hosts here today, and Lisa Baroldi, President and CEO of the Building Owners and Managers Association of Edmonton. EMRER will focus on how we can promote the economic vibrancy of both Edmonton and its surrounding communities. It will provide advice on how both government and industry can work together to revitalize and attract investment to the region. It will look for more opportunities like Port Alberta to help ensure economic recovery reaches every community and family. Looking ahead, Alberta's government will continue to move our province forward by providing opportunities for all Albertans to succeed and thrive. And we look forward to working with Edmonton Global, the Edmonton International Airport, and all other Port Alberta partners to help promote economic prosperity here in Edmonton. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Turton. And it was also great to hear from Minister Boisonneau. It's so important that we have both federal and provincial government, as well as our local municipalities, as part of this important initiative. And now we're going to share a short video about Port Alberta before we hear from the Edmonton Global CEO, Malcolm Bruce, Edmonton International Airport VP of Business Development, Myron Keane, and Emily Salisbury, the founder of a local innovative fashion company, Emmy DeVoe. Thank you. Welcome to Port Alberta. We're here to help you take your products to the world, whatever and wherever that may be. Located in the Edmonton metropolitan region, Port Alberta is your partner with access to people, places, and programs designed to accelerate your global growth. From here, the world opens up. The idea of Port Alberta is to ensure that our businesses here in the Edmonton region have all the support that they could have possible to them available quickly and efficiently so they can grow their business internationally. With Port Alberta on your team, you're connected to global market experts to help you unlock the region's assets and your potential. We know the ins and outs of government programs and how to help boost cash flow while you grow into the import-export world. Our network means your questions are answered. You're working with the right people and you have the help you need to succeed. They really are 
trying to be innovators and you know they're just continuing to push things forward and they're not afraid to take risks and that's a really challenging thing to find there's so many incredible partnerships take a when it comes to the global supply chain, North America's northernmost major city connects businesses to international markets without unnecessary roadblocks. Instead of looking at the world like this, this is our perspective. And Port Alberta is here to help you get there every step of the way. Your success is our success. Port Alberta, start here, connect here, take on the world. Great, thank you. And now please welcome Edmonton Global CEO, Mr. Malcolm Bruce. Thank you. So first of all, I just have to thank Parkland County for hosting as well as Steel. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm a huge fan of Steel and I use it uh, uh, every sort of fall getting ready for the winter uh, burning season. Um, so thanks very much. It's a pleasure to be here and be part of the relaunch of Port Alberta. The purpose of Edmonton Global is to radically transform and grow the economy of the Edmonton metropolitan region. We do this through attracting investment from around the world and by helping local companies export and trade to the world. Today, this is about trade, the business of import-export, as we've heard. Port Alberta is central to this. Port Alberta is the mechanism that coordinates programs and services. It facilitates international trade. International trade will never be simple but it can be more straightforward. And while not simple, it can be simpler for our regional businesses, especially when you have a guide alongside you helping you navigate the system. This is what Port Alberta does. For companies in the import or export business, Port Alberta can be a strong asset for your team. It can help you navigate the programs and services and help you reduce costs and reduce uh, uncertainty and perhaps more importantly, move at the speed of business. Our region and our region's companies compete within the world or around the world, and every second counts. I'd like to ask Clark Grew from Rainmaker Global Markets to join me. We've contracted Rainmaker to deliver a concierge level service and advice to companies across the Edmonton metropolitan region who are in the import export business. Clark and his team have a solid international experience proven over many decades. Clark, can you say a few words, please? Thank you very much, Malcolm, and, and to Myron at the, and the team at the airport, thank you, Carolina, and all the great folks at Prairie Scan. This is an amazing initiative. I just have to say, our team around the world, we have about 40 rainmakers scattered around the world. Nobody's doing it like this. Nobody's coming together like a community like this. So kudos to all of you for that. I think it's going to really draw a lot of attention. It's going to draw a lot of companies together to see that they have the support that you're offering here in the Edmonton region. So it's it's great to be launching this. Um, we've been working away at it for some time and getting it going. So thank you for being here. Really important to know what this will be. Uh, so what the heck is it? Um, obviously pointing to the foreign trade zone services that are available to through CRA and CBSA, the, the Canadian Border Service Agency are really important pieces, but there's a lot happening in trade. There's a lot of opportunities for Edmonton region companies to access the global markets, whether it's with uh, with its trade missions and grants for export, uh, leveraging different uh, associations and opportunities globally. This is really a, a place, Port Alberta is a place where the companies here in the Edmonton region can get access to quick answers and quickly accelerate their growth globally. And then, of course, with Myron's team looking at around the world and bringing companies here with, with Malcolm's as well, having, having them know that they have this kind of support in a city like Edmonton is really, really rare. So we're excited about this. We're excited to be part of it. And thank you, Malcolm, for letting me be here. Thank you, Clark. We have a solid plan in place for reinvigorating the role of Port Alberta. We have a team now dedicated in providing services and being able to aid in the navigation. And we have a strong network of partnerships across our region that are behind the Port Alberta success. I want to thank the leadership of this region, the mayors, the councils that have made the foreign trade zone and the like a priority for our region, as well as to help our companies grow. I also want to thank a number of our partners because without them, we wouldn't be where we are today. Uh, Government of Alberta, Minister Schweitzer, MLA Turton, thank you. And many others who are invested in our region at the provincial level to ensure that this program is successful. 
I'd also like to thank Minister Boissonneau, and many of you know that Minister Boissonneau has been a champion of Edmonton Global since its inception, so it's really quite exceptional he continues to support us. But in particular, I just want to highlight two of our uh, Government of Canada friends that are here. One is Justin Reamer. I don't know if you can raise your hand, Justin. And uh, Carolina Calderon, which I think she's also here. I've just been staunch supporters of the foreign trade zone and the work that EIA and ourselves have done over the past. And as been noted, our northern location is a strategic advantage. Our friends at EIA know this and have had made huge strides in attracting investment and growing trade. P World, many of you may know, run a number of the intermodal yards uh, across the port systems in North America. Um, both in terms of Prince Rupert and Vancouver know this too, and are very interested in making significant investments in this region because of its location. This relaunch is the first step in our goal of transforming the Edmonton region to a globally re relevant supply chain and logistics hub. It is the first step, and there are many more to come. So thanks to you again for coming, and thank you for being a partner in this initiative. Thanks. Thank you, gentlemen, and especially concur with you on the wide range of wonderful steel products. So. Uh, next, I uh, will uh, call on Mr. Myron Keene. Thank you. I was hoping this was a take a chainsaw with when you leave event or, or any kind of uh, the great products that are here, but uh, great ingenuity. But really uh, honored on behalf of Edmonton International Airport, on behalf of Tom Ruth, our president CEO and our board of directors to be here today. Uh, really excited about what this region means and what what's happening in this region. We're, we're the best kept secret and we're doing our best now as a region to make sure we're not a secret anymore. But you're seeing international companies like the one we're standing in today that's chosen this region to base in their, in their home. And, they're, you know, it's just a great, great community. So uh, I've moved back here 14 years ago and I've never looked at another place to raise my family as, as opposed to Edmonton region. But really thank you to Minister Bossano. Thank you to a uh, mayor. Thank you very much, MLA Turton. Thank you as well. It's really important, I think, from a regional perspective to, to look at how the airport and how the region plays together. And the airport's just one small ecosystem. All the communities coming together make a difference. And uh, you mentioned earlier Prairies Can, and really, Justin and Carolina, thank you for all that you guys do. We are literally at this conversation with an ambassador a couple of days ago. We really bat. Uh, a thousand when it comes to our international presence in our in our trade commissioner services and what we actually have for our economic development agencies within Canada, whether it be Prairie Crown, which is particularly for us in in the Alberta ecosystem. So really, thank you to what to you for what you guys do. Um, the ability to access markets is critical for trade. We all know that, and it drives both imports and exports and creating economic value for that Edmonton metro region. And you've heard Malcolm and others speak earlier about what this means, how we're uniquely positioned, where the where we flatten out the earth, which I love that video. When you flatten out the, the world, we're actually closer. We're only in nine minutes difference from Hong Kong to Edmonton than it is to Vancouver. People go, Hi, I, don't, I don't really understand that, but that's just circumpolar when you fly over top of the pole. So we've got air routes, we've got shipping lanes with Prince Rupert and uh, Vancouver ports with CNNCP servicing this region, really, really close to here actually. Um, and then we have the road network, which you talked about earlier, uh, Emily Turton, on just the road network across Canada, but also going south out of this region right, right down the Canamex corridor. So we're really a unique position for not only the movement of goods and to and from North America, to from North America and South America, but back the other direction, which is great for our local companies, which we'll hear from Emily short, speak to shortly. So the convergence of these trade lanes has and will continue to provide businesses both here and abroad with unique opportunity to develop the most effective, efficient trade lanes. And that's really important. It resonates not just here, but with companies internationally who are looking to invest, as Malcolm mentioned earlier, the folks from DP, DP World. So we're really excited about that for the region and what it actually means. You'll hear from Emily speak shortly about the great example of local, local example of how Port Alberta can help a local company grow and scale and then be able to export and what that actually means. And it's we need a combination of enterprises that are based here, started here in someone's basement, someone's backyard, someone's idea and growing. And that's how we were really a community of big and small, medium, small, medium businesses, but also international companies like the one we're studying in today. So I'm excited about the future of opportunities for Port Alberta and what it provides for region and happy to be able to join you here today. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you. You need a chainsaw, I need a leaf blower. Either way, I think we're all good. So next up, most importantly, Miss Emily Green. Thank you. Wow. Thanks so much for having me. 
This is only the second time I've formally spoken about the brand in the public eye. Last time was when we launched the, the warehouse. Um, I think first, I'd love to talk about how exciting this is and how I'm so thrilled that some that you use the word community because Malcolm used the word community because it really does feel that way. And it makes it a lot more rewarding to explore all these opportunities when it feels like a family. And so I wanted to say when we expanded into the warehouse at the airport or distribution center, it was never about the storage of goods, which I often think when people come in and they actually see we don't have a lot of inventory because that's how we're structured. It was really about the transfer of goods. So it was really about the accessibility to be able to bring things in, export things out. And everything we do currently is by air. So I can actually, from the front door of our warehouse, I can tell you when our product lands. I can go, oh, the plane from Cincinnati is here. And then we actually ship out as well, working with airplanes. And so uh, I love the partnerships that we've been able to create. Emmy DeVoe was never started because I have a passion for fashion. Emmy DeVoe was started to be a business case study for technology companies, logistics providers, finance companies. So we have a lot of strategic partnerships in various categories that most people don't even know about. So we're currently working on reshaping the finance industry, logistics, supply chain, with a bunch of a number of partners that are located right at EIA. So super excited to be part of the family and can't wait to see what we can do together. And especially with Port Alberta, we're looking so much forward to, we're already using all of the accessibility that they've provided and now I can't wait for us to talk more about the story of that and how other companies need to start doing this. So I'm very risky. I don't uh, hold back. So uh, a lot of other companies are a bit nervous. So you've got to be the company that sets the example so that other companies want to do the same thing. So that's what we hope to be. You know, go until it goes. Go until it doesn't go anymore. And if it keeps going, great. So thanks so much for everyone for having me come up here and speak about this. I'm very excited to continue to announce new uh, things we're doing with new businesses and new partnerships, uh, which is all part of the story of Port Alberta. So thanks so much for having me. Uh, thank you all very much. And I know we can probably all use a little bit of fashion upgrade, so we'll all have to come and visit you. Thank you all for the inspiring words. We're proud of the legacy that Port Alberta has with the Edmonton region, and we're excited to see what this new relaunch will bring. Through renewed partnerships and a renewed purpose, I believe the best is yet to come for the growth of this sector here. Thank you all for joining us. And now if I can have the speakers and media join as we move into the steel warehouse to participate in a couple of photos. Thank you all for joining us. Wonderful. Thanks. Thank you.